Greetings from Temple Baptist Church in Poplar Bluff, Missouri. I want to encourage you for a moment with a word we find in Romans chapter 8, and it's in verse 28. And listen to this beautiful promise that the Lord gives us from his word there. And we know that all things work together for good to those who love God, to those who are the called according to his purpose. There's some very important, very powerful words in that verse. Notice what it says. God, able to work all things, not just some things. It's not us who are able to do those things, but it's God who is able to do those things. Oftentimes we try to do too many things in our own strength, in our own power, in our own wisdom. And sometimes we mess everything up. We don't have the information that God has. And so we should allow God to do those things on our behalf. All things together for good. God can take the darkest, the most desperate situations of our lives and work something good out of even those most difficult things. Working all things together. God has a recipe for our lives. We don't always understand why his recipe calls for all the individual ingredients that it calls for. Many of those ingredients, when by themselves we were to take, they would be revolting to us. I can honestly tell you today that I've never taken a tablespoon of flour and tried to eat that. I uh, absolutely refuse to take raw eggs uh, and to eat those. I know some people who do and uh, different things, but not myself. Cinnamon. I love the taste of cinnamon as it, as it seasons something, but I don't think I want to just take cinnamon and take it by itself and ingest it. Uh, there's the idea of vanilla. Uh, I love vanilla. I, I love to season things with vanilla and eat those things which have been seasoned with vanilla, but to take it by itself, I don't think it would be very good. When, we, when all mixed up together, though, this flour, those eggs, that cinnamon, that vanilla, maybe a little sugar to go along with it, the result is something very, very good. God takes all the individual happenings of our lives and works them together to bring a great faith, a stronger mind, the ability to help someone else who is suffering with some encouragement that we found when we were going through that dark or lonely valley ourselves. Hang in there and wait on the Lord until he is finished with what is going on in your life. Something beautiful may be the result one of these days. Don't accept the fact that this individual happening, that nothing good can come from it, but one of these days, when it's all by you, when it's all over, we can look back and say, you know, I may not ever want to go through something like that again, but I'm so thankful that God worked something good out of that difficult situation. Let God have the time to stir it up all together, to mix it all together, and watch what he can do good in your life. Father, thank you for loving us. Thank you for the ability to do those things which are good in our lives. Help us not to just look at the individual bad things that are going on, but Lord, help us to wait upon you, to let our hands hang down, to be reminded that we can't do anything about some of the things that we go through, but Lord, you can work something good out of all things. Lord, we look forward to what you're going to do in our lives to make good things come about. Bless each one in the hearing of my voice and the hearing of your word through your Bible today. And we ask in Jesus' name, amen. God bless you and I pray that you have a wonderful day in the Lord today.